welcome to mathematics online class this is the continuation class of circles of grade 10 today let us discuss some more important points related to the circles firstly that is concentric circles c o n c e n t r i c concentric circles what is the meaning of concentric circles if two or more circles which are having the same center and different radii then those circles are called as concentric circles now i am going to write the diagrams of the concentric circles see this is the first circle a with center o another circle b which is also having the center o another one more circle which is also having the center o and the different radii different radii for the first circle if you observe the radius 1 you can take the second circle r2 and the third circle r3 now here you can observe the circle a is smaller than the circle b is also smaller than the circle c because the radius of circle r1 is less than the circle r2 is also less than the circle r3 so therefore these three circles are called as concentric circles that means once again i'll explain the meaning of the concentric circles two or more circles which are having the same center but different radii are called as concentric circles in the english dictionary also the meaning of concentric means same center that's what the circles which are having the same center but different radii are called as concentric circles Okay, sir. After learning concentric circles, we can move on to the next point. That is congruent circles. Congruent circles are also called as equal circles. Just a very little word. Congruent. C O N G R U E N T. Congruent or equal. Equal circles. For circles, we can use this symbol. Small size of circle with a dot. L E S. as the superscript so that is the symbol for the circles now what is the meaning of congruent circles or equal circles just i am going to write three circles on the board first one second one and the third one if you observe all the three circles with center a the second one is center b and the third one with center c all three circles are having the same radii that means r1 this is r2 and this is r3 all three radii are in same length that means all the three circles radii are equal in length that means r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r3 therefore all the three circles are said to be congruent or equal circles okay children so circle a is equal to circle b is equal to circle c then what is the meaning of congruent circles circles which are having the same radii but different centers see here all the three circles are having same measurement of radius but different uh, centers therefore all the three circles are said to be congruent circles yes sir after learning the concept of congruent circles let us move to study about one more important concept related to the circles is circumscribed circle what is the meaning of circumscribed circle so let us here one of the circle inside one of the triangle okay here you can observe triangle a b c which is having the vertices a b c at the same time one of the circle which is passing through all the vertices of the triangle circle which is passing through the vertices of the triangle then the triangle is said to be circumscribed circle it is not only related to the circle it may be the any other polygon like quadrilateral pentagon hexagon etc in that situation here we can observe one of the center of the circumscribed circle is called as circumcenter circumcenter and the polygon which is there inside the circle is called as inscribed polygon okay children circle is called as circumscribed circle 
triangle is called as inscribed triangle and O is the circum center. Okay, next after learning circumscribed circle, we can move on to the inscribed circle. Inscribed I N S C R I B E D. Inscribed circle. What is the meaning of inscribed circle? If the circle which is passing through by touching the sides of the polygon, then the circle is said to be inscribed circle. For example, here with the same triangle, I am going to take it. Here one of the triangle P Q R. The triangle PQR and one more circle which is passing by touching the sides of the circle. See here the circle with center O which is touching all the sides of the triangle. Therefore, circle is said to be inscribed circle and the center is said to be in center or inscribed center or in center we can call and the triangle or the polygon is called as circumscribed polygon. Is it clear children? Whatever the diagram which is there inside, it is called as inscribed picture and the diagram which is there outside the circle or uh, polygon then that is called as circumscribed polygon or any other diagram. Okay children? Yes, after learning circumscribed circle and inscribed circle, let us move about to study about the semi-circles. Yes, after learning circumscribed circle and inscribed circle, let us move on to study about semi-circle. What is that? Semi-circle. S E M I semi-circle. What is the meaning of semi? Semi means half of the whole. So, what is the related to circle? What is that semi? What is the meaning of semi-circle? This is one of the circle you can imagine. This is the center of the circle and the circle which is divided by the help of diameter. See here, AB is the diameter and O is the center of the circle. The diameter AB is dividing the whole circle into two equal parts. One is, is in the upper part, another one is in the down part and the below part. So both the parts are called as semi-circles. Semi-circles means the part of the circle which is divided by the diameter, then those two equal parts are called it as semicircles. Is it clear, children? Yes, I hope you have learned all the concepts of today's class. Now, in the next class, we can learn some more important concepts related to the circles. Thank you.